Hi guys! So today I made a very realistic looking pizza cake and pretty much I made it because teenagers are impossible to please. So I'll let you know why. So just so you know, here I am making a chocolate chip vanilla cake or a vanilla cake with chocolate chips. And I'll give you a little tip. It's like I actually add my chocolate chips a little bit after I put the cake in the oven so that they don't all sink into the bottom. So now I am just cutting the edges and making them super round. And I'm gonna remove a little bit of the middle of the cake because pizzas have a thicker crust and the middle is thinner. And that is gonna help this cake look realistic. This is such an easy cake and so fun because it's just one layer, super simple, no need for refrigeration or anything like that. It doesn't have to be very complicated or sturdy or anything. So what I did is I actually heated up a little bit of Nutella in the microwave and I just covered the whole thing with it. So Nutella is one of my son's favorite things. Going to add the fondant now that my cake is covered with some sticky Nutella. So I grabbed a little bit of brown and a little bit of yellow and a, a lot more white and I mixed all these colors together, rolled out a thin piece of fondant and covered the edges. You don't have to worry about making this cake perfect and that is the number one rule when, at least for me, when I'm making hyper-realistic cakes because at least food, it's hardly ever perfect. So the more imperfect your cake is, the more realistic it will look. And that's why I'm not really worrying about how my fondant was placed on this cake. I am making sure I make a lot of dents with my fingers. You see I'm pressing hard into my cake, even with my hand. And that is going to give it a very imperfect look of the bread. The next big, big, big tip for making hyper-realistic cakes is take your chalk dust out and use it. That really helps out. So with a little bit of black, brown, and even some red, I am adding some details so that this looks like dough that just came out of the oven. You see paint, painting with a little bit of black and different colors and leaving the lighter color of the fondant on the bottom which is where the heat wouldn't really be burning the dough. And now the sauce. I just used some regular raspberry or strawberry jam. I added a little bit of red just to make it more intense. And I'm gonna put some on the edge where the cheese meets the crust, just like a real pizza. Easy peasy, no need to be perfect. But I have a feeling it's gonna taste really good, so I decided to cover the whole thing up. I, not because it was necessary for the look, but because it would be tasty. All right, so now very light yellow all over. You can see how it tore and that was okay. I like imperfections in my realistic cakes. And now I'm just smoothing the edges of where the cheese is meeting the sauce. Making sure I smudge a lot and get some raspberry jelly on the cake. And now again, the painting with the chalk dust. I used mostly red and a bit of like an ochre colored chalk, light brown. All right, pepperoni pizza because it's his favorite pizza. So round, thin pieces of fondant. I curve them with the edge of the rolling pin and then I'm going to add some little dots that I'm, I'm just pressing the back of a brush. Now we didn't show that part and that's okay. And now we just place all the pepperoni on the pizza. And I am painting it with a little bit of vodka and it's gonna dry out soon, but you can choose to use uh, some type of oil or shortening to give a shine. And I'm adding a little bit of black to make it look like it came out of the oven. And then just have fun with it. Get these pepperoni pieces really wet so that they shine and just patiently painting each and every single one of them. I do always do research and I usually work with some reference pictures. So I do have a picture of a pizza pulled up on my phone, which I'm using for reference. And I noticed that all of the edges of the pepperonis 
are usually black, so that's what I'm doing. Oh, there. With the back of the brush, I am adding some texture. It makes it look like little dots, little texture, and that's gonna... It's going to make it look like the pepperoni has some texture because it does. All right, now all the final touches. Now just need to make this whole pizza look cooked. And this is always my favorite part, the painting. And this is the part where you can't really go wrong. Just make the higher parts darker, the lower parts lighter, which is the way a pizza would look. And patiently paint the whole thing. And again, the same thing that I keep saying is the more imperfect this looks, the more realistic it will look. So don't make all the marks the same or the same color even. This is the realistic, hyper-realistic pizza cake. And the reason I ended up doing this is because, like I said, teenagers are difficult. Uh, mine is turning 13. So when I asked him what he wanted, as a cake, he said, Mom, I don't really care for a cake this year. I just want a pizza and you can just put a candle in the middle. But you know, you can't really ask a baker not to bake, especially for her own son. So obviously I had no choice but to make a cake that looks like a realistic pizza. He did actually also get the pizza, but he loved the cake, so it was a big success. And we obviously put a candle in the middle, just like he wanted. It was, I do have to say, a little weird eating this cake because your brain is telling you it's gonna be savory and then you take a bite of it and it's not. So I'm not sure how I feel about eating hyper-realistic cakes that look like something different. It really does play tricks on your mind. All right, but the cutting is super satisfying and it was actually really fun serving this cake. So I hope you guys enjoyed.